Hello friends, you are most welcome on my YouTube channel and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Click on subscribe here. दोस्तों अगर आप मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करते हैं तो आपको आने वाली वीडियोस का लिंक आसानी से मिलता रहेगा आशा करता हूं कि चैनल आपकी तैयारी में हेल्पफुल होगा गुड लक फ्रेंड्स नाउ एंजॉय द वीडियो हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट लिटरेरी क्रिटिसिज्म एंड वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सम पैराडाइम्स आल्सो इन दिस वीडियो we have already talked about uh, formalism marxism feminism and uh, structuralism post structuralism and archetypal uh, criticism now we need to talk about psychoanalytic and uh, culture cultural criticism in next videos okay and if you don't uh, don't know where these videos are uh, which are created by me you can just go to comment box and you can uh, there i will pin the post there uh, related to the videos related to literary criticism and in uh, description box you will find there and uh, if you want to talk about literary criticism you need to talk about author's intention reader response biological cognitive scientific moralist quiz theory social po political sociological and so many more things are to talk about in literary criticism that's why people find it uh, like a headache but if you go deep with these topics definitely you're going to enjoy because the more knowledge you have of a subject the more enjoyment you enjoy let's talk about now definition of the word literary criticism is the study discussion evaluation and interpretation of literature now you can uh, thank to wikipedia for this definition and as well as to me all right let's have some more definitions of the work literary criticism is the evaluation of literary works this includes the classification by genre analysis of structure and judgment of value again you can thank this person baxton and gains for this all right it's a little bit better now and uh, we will be having let's try again because it's a little, little bit tough topic literary criticism ask what liter literature is what it does and what it is worth I think it one is the simplest definition and you can have in your dictionary and in your notebook it's encyclopedia britannica you can find there it's kind of nice in my words now <clears throat> literary criticism is the method used to interpret any given work of literature the different schools of literary criticism provides us with lenses which ultimately reveal important aspects of the literary works now here is a big question now the question is why do we have to analyze everything okay if we don't analyze so many so many things we don't have so many questions and then we will have our literary exams easy but let's talk about it in general talking about experiences enhance our enjoyment of them talking about experience involves the search for meaning which increases our understanding of them so we need to understand things that's why we need to analyze them we need to have uh, some more experience we need to analyze them that's why <clears throat> because socrates said so the life which is un unexamined is not worth living let's explain this further literary criticism helps us to understand what is important about the text now when we say what they want to find out and what they want to take out the things out of their discussion they want to take out a structure they want to take out context social economic historical these contexts all right and what is written there okay what also intend to write down how the text manipulates the reader so these are the things they want to know that's why they analyze they want to explain these things and that's why literary criticism is so important to make the uh make the work crystal clear let's move ahead let's talk about little more literary criticism helps us to understand the relationship between authors readers and text okay are you getting when a literary criticism want you to understand the relation between author reader and text what also writes has some impacts on reader all right and what kind of texts he writes 
it can be analyzed by a literary critic. The, the act of literary criticism ultimately enhance the enjoyment of our reading for of a literary work. Now, let me let me give you an example. Fine example. You have a book here. Okay, and you don't understand the words here. I'm an uh, I'm an Indian and I don't understand uh, Chinese. So this book is written in Chinese. Okay, so can I enjoy this work? No, because there is least enjoyment because I don't understand uh, even a single word there. If I can understand now I have a book in Hindi, I can enjoy this work better because understanding is better. That's why enjoyment is better. So making the work or the text enjoyable, we need to make that crystal clear. And that's why that's what literary critic do this thing for us and they make things clear and but in the process of making this these things clear they make it little complex because they are making ideas clear okay and this is the most uh, you can say toughest part to make ideas clear to other people if they don't understand those ideas so it is all about ideas and uh, making ideas clear okay structure is clear that's why it is little tough so spend some more time with literary criticism and you will be uh, you know enjoying this these works and literary criticism now i want to tell you that i wasn't too good in literary criticism part uh, before three months or four months you can say but now i enjoy these terms because i have cleared more than 300 terms in english literature and i have made a pdf also PDF file for that uh, so that you can also enjoy those words and I have taken the examples from uh, English literature work and if you want to get those work you can simply uh, uh, simply whatsapp me 8057538826 okay if you want to get those 200 uh these are 300 but i have finished with uh 200 words right now and if you want these 200 words uh literary terms okay what you want to know in easy way with the reference of english literature and i have taken those references also from the easy works like hamlet every everybody knows what hamlet says and if you want to know in the reference with uh, some bollywood movies you can uh, you can uh, you can enjoy them all right so this is kind of advertisement let's go ahead let's talk about this <clears throat> so if you want the uh, those uh, terms literary terms you can uh, directly send me a message on my whatsapp and i'll be sending those pdfs to you let's see you are going to study eight paradigms now what paradigms do you know about this word before three months i didn't know what paradigm means but now i know the words can replace the other things okay there is a relationship between so if you know structuralism you must know this word so i have made already a video on structuralism and what paradigm is so you can uh, check out that video and you will come to know so formalism marxism feminism i have already told you about this here are uh, the other things we have already talked now let's see about uh, let's see this literary criticism map this is very important to know <clears throat> here where do the theories fall here are some things beyond the world that is called uh, symbolic archetypal real world feminist minor minorities marxist work itself formalist and deconstruction if you are focusing on re, uh, audience, reader response, other literature, intertextual. Now the thing is, why this chart is important to know. Actually, when we, if we talk about literary criticism, we are talking about and we are seeing that we are in category, then first, if I am talking about this world and the world, I am talking about symbolic archetypes, I am talking about symbolic archetypes, अगर हम बियॉन्ड द वर्ल्ड इस संसार में जो चीजें नहीं है ओके okay, उनके बारे में हम बात कर रहे हैं या उस तरह से उसे एक तरह से क्रिटिक कर रहे हैं 
तो हमें क्रिटिसाइज कर रहे तो हम उसे बियॉन्ड द वर्ल्ड अगर हम बात करें तो उसे सिम्बॉलिक और आर्किटिपल क्रिटिसिजम की कैटेगरी में रखेंगे अगर हम रियल वर्ल्ड को एनालाइज करें तो उसे मेमेटिक वर्क इट्स अगर हम वर्क को ही कर रहे हैं तो इसे फॉर्मलिस्ट या डिकन्स्ट्रक्शन कहते हैं अदर लिटरेचर अगर हम अदर लिटरेचर के साथ में उसको एनालाइज कर रहे हैं तो उसे इंटरटेक्चुअल कहते हैं अगर ऑडियंस को लेकर हम किसी वर्क को एनालाइज कर रहे हैं तो उसे हम रीडर रिस्पॉन्स थ्योरी कहेंगे अगर हम ऑथर की लाइफ या ऑथर्स वर्ड की बात करें तो हिस्टोरिकल बायोग्राफिकल इसे हम क्रिटिसिज्म कहते हैं तो क्रिटिसिज्म के अगर आप टाइप की बात करें आपको अगर प्रॉब्लम हो रही है इफ़ यू आर यू नो फाइंडिंग डिफिकल्टीज इन रिमेम्बरिंग टाइप्स ऑफ लिटरी क्रिटिसिज्म यू नीड टू फोकस ऑन दीज थिंग्स एंड देन यू नीड टू गो थ्रू द टाइप्स लाइक बियॉन्ड द वर्ल्ड रियल द वर्ल्ड रियल वर्ल्ड वर्क इट सेल्फ ऑडियंस अदर लिटरेचर ऑथर्स लाइफ और ऑथर्स वर्ल्ड what kind of thing you are finding there in any literary criticism so you will be uh, you know uh, getting the types of uh, works crystal clear okay i have already talked about this literary criticism map there is literary criticism map okay again so this is all about uh, literary criticism so if you like the video please like share and uh, comment in the comment box you can uh, check out my other videos in comment box i will be pinning the things there the videos for all uh, you know literary criticism you will have basic ideas about uh, literary criticism with these ppts but i i want to tell you that if you are just starting agar aap just shuru kar rahe hain to aap logon ko ye jo videos hain ye aapko help karengi and uh, in depth videos will be coming in future so subscribe and join my blog okay follow that blog blog ko follow karna na bhule and blog ka naam aap logon ko pata hi hai koji study dot blogspot dot com all right so you can go through that uh, blog koji study dot blogspot dot com and you will be enjoying that blog also and in future i will be making lots of other courses So till now till then bye bye take care good luck for your exams